Hey, this is Casey Robbins at Schaefer Chevrolet. Uh, today we're looking at a 2010 Ford F-150 XLT. <clears throat> this is a super crew vehicle with uh, four full-size doors, um, plenty of room in it, and this truck is in uh, excellent, excellent shape. Um, it's going to come with the 5.4 liter V8, which is going to get you up to 20 miles per gallon on the highway. Okay, so we've We've got this price truck, or this truck priced, I'm sorry, at uh, over $3,500 below NADA value. I'm um, at $17,400. So let me show you a couple things on this. Um, start with the uh, tires here, since I'm right here. Uh, tires still have some solid tread left in them. Uh, good life. Looking up under the wheel well here at rust. The rust uh, situation here is. Not bad, not bad at all, especially considering uh, being here in the state of Michigan. Um, there's, the, you know, there's always going to be trucks that have a lot of rust, just with all the salt on the roads, and then, you know, you're going to have some that, that look like this, you know, have a little bit, but uh, nothing, nothing crazy. Um, <clears throat> as far as the, the paint goes on the exterior here, the Oxford white, they call it, down there at Ford, um, just, just scanning the truck around, looking for any dents, dings, uh, scratches, um, any imperfections. I do see a little touch-up spot right here uh, where they touched it up. Right there uh, on the back of the bed. Uh, other than that, you know, as I as I continue to just look around here, you know, we've got just a teensy little bit of rust coming in here on the on the bumper right there. Um, again, nothing that concerns me, um, but it's something I want to point out uh, to you, Jake, because you know you are coming from Wisconsin, and I uh, want you to know as much as possible without you actually being here. So. Looking up under this wheel well, everything uh, looks to be in order. So I just continue to go around it and look for, for anything else uh, to point out to you. Um, and really I don't, I don't see much. This, this truck too has the bed liner, filled with snow at the moment, but it's supposed to warm up this weekend and hopefully it'll all melt and go away for good. So I'm gonna pop in here on the interior passenger side and, and just take a look around. This truck is really clean. Want you to get a view. I'm gonna show you the back seat now too. And inside the doors. Um, don't see any rust here inside the on the inside of the doors. Um, as far as the condition of the the upholstery and the, the cloth interior here um, it's clean you know on the seat belt here in the back there's a couple of, of stains here on the seat belt but considering it's a vehicle with about 80,000 miles that's gonna happen it's inevitable trucks gonna get a little bit dirty um, but other than that I know our uh, Reconditioning department has done an excellent job uh, getting this vehicle cleaned up and uh, ready to be purchased. So now I'm going to head over to the driver's side for you. We'll take a look on this side of the back seat. Again, just uh, clean interior, minus a few, you know, just normal wear and tear, like I said, on the seat belts. Uh, just some like discoloration. I wouldn't even really call it. I mean a stain like anything spilled in here just um, <clears throat> Back here in the back too, you're gonna see where you can Have a charging port for a phone or a tablet, you know that you can plug in there. It's got a little cubby here That folds into a cup holder Got some storage space on the back of the seat. That's uh, pretty standard. There's also a cup holder here on the inside of the door as well as some uh, storage compartments right there for you. Um, electronic mirror control. 
There's your lights now here on the dash. We'll have to get that piece locked back in. Um, it is popping out a little bit. But all the vents are good. All working. They're all uh, blowing hot air out right now. Um, another charging port. I'm gonna have a seat here so that you can just kind of get a look at the dash area. So you're gonna be able to get Sirius uh, satellite radio uh, with a subscription in this vehicle. This is where you're gonna switch from uh, two wheel to four wheel. This truck was also manufactured here, right here in the USA. Um, so nowadays you see a lot of vehicles made in Canada or made in Mexico, um, but this one was made right here in good old America. So you have your auxiliary cord port there. Uh, single disc CD player, traction control. Right here on the center console area, it's gonna be a spot for you to to store, you know, notepads, notebooks, whatever you could, your heart desires to put in there. Got some more cup holders here. This is gonna fold up for you as well to have an extra seat if you need it. Um, spots to put sunglasses and that kind of thing um, your interior lights here working <clears throat> the windshield is also free of any cracks or chips in it um, just get another look up here on top of the dash right here is your uh, your hub for seeing you know your external temperature it's got your clock which radio station you're on um, so again this truck this is the 2010 Ford F-150 XLT and excellent vehicle with 80,000 miles uh, again my name is Casey Robbins here at Schaefer Chevrolet in Pinconning, Michigan um, thank you for watching